Hello, Brevard teachers. Today we're going to be learning about Google Classroom integration with Focus School software. To start off, we need to link our Google Classroom with Focus. There are two ways we can do this. Let's start with going to My Preferences. First off, you're going to click My Information. Next, Preferences. Now you're going to go all the way over to the right and click Linked Accounts. You'll see a button that says Sign in with Google Classroom. Click the button. Now it says choose an account to continue to focus this. You can see that I have several accounts logged in already. The way to log in before getting to this screen is simply going to your launch pad, clicking the Google Apps Share icon. This will log you into all of your Google Apps so you don't have to type in any information on the previous screen. So let's go ahead and go back to focus. Sign in with Classroom. And we're going to choose my first account, which is a at share.brevardschools.org. Now it'll ask for some allowances on the account. We're going to allow all of these things since Brevard has an NDA set up with Focus Software. Now you can see that my account, dire.robert at share.brevardschools.org, is linked to Focus. Now, let's go back to the home page, and I'll show you a second way to link your account. This time we're going to click on Grades, Gradebook, and up at the top of the page you can see a Link Class icon. So if I want to unlink an account, I can click on my previous account here, dire.robert at share.brevardschools.org. Are you sure you want to unlink this account? Click Yes. Now, to link my account from the gradebook, I'll follow the same process. Click the Sign In with Google Classroom button, and then choose which account I want to log in with. Again, let's use my Share account. Now, I just need to give all the allowances. And now we've properly linked our accounts in two different ways. Now that we've properly linked our Google accounts, it's time to get our Google Classroom synced up with our different periods. So you can see right now I'm in my first period intensive language arts classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and click link class and select Google Classroom class. Now you'll see a list of all the Google Classroom classes that are on my account, dire.robert at share.brevardschools.org. So for this first period class, I'm gonna use focus test. Click select course. And you can see Google Classroom Sync results. Invite sent, completed, no invitation sent, grade sync, no students enrolled in Google Classroom. Close the window. And now you can see my login button has changed to Sync Class. Now that we've linked our first class period, let's go ahead and create an assignment. Click Add Assignment. Now we need to choose Third Party System and add Google Classroom. Note, the only information taken from Focus to Google will be the title, the points, the assignment category, and the due date. Any extra information will not be included in Google Classroom. So for our title, let's call it Threat Level Midnight. For our points, 100. And we'll leave assignment category default and our date's default. Let's go ahead and change our periods to simply period one, since that's our only linked account so far, and click Save. Now you can see in focus, I have a threat level midnight assignment, 100 points, and the assigned due date. Now, if I go back to my focus test, I can see my stream was updated, show, Robert Dyer posted a new assignment via Focusys, Threat Level Midnight. If I go to Classwork, I see the assignment, Threat Level Midnight. Now that we've created an assignment, let's see how we can go in as a student and complete the assignment. So I'm going to log into a student account. Here you can see I'm in Focus Test Classroom. Now you can see the Threat Level Midnight assignment. 
and under classwork, I can see it again. So I'm going to click on view assignment. Now I'm going to add an assignment attachment. In my Google Drive, I've already created an attachment called focus integration. So I'll click on that and insert. Now I'll click class comment and I'll leave a comment for the teacher. And finally, I'll click turn in. Now I'll switch back to my teacher account. I'll go to Google Classroom. I'll check grades. And I'll see that a student has turned in the paper. And right now it has a zero out of 100. I'll click on the assignment. Click on the attachment. Now I can see that the student has completed the assignment. So I'll go over and type my grade, which is going to be 100 out of 100. Now, be sure to always click return. If you don't return the paper to the student, then the grade will not be synced to your focus gradebook. Now I'll go back to my gradebook and click sync class. And as you can see, sync complete, successfully synced one grade. Back in my gradebook, I'll now see that this student received a 100 out of 100. Finally, let's create an assignment in Google Classroom and upload it to Focus. So let's go to our Google Classroom, click Classwork, Create, and let's choose Assignment. We'll title this Google Reading. Instructions are read the information at the link. And finally, we'll add a link for students to read. Google.com. This will be for our students in our focus test class. We'll use all students. The points will be on 100 and we'll leave everything else default. Click assign. Now we can see we have a Google Reading assignment. Let's go back to our gradebook, click Add Assignment. For title, we'll title it Google Reading. Points will be 100. Click Third Party System, select Google Classroom. Now under Linked Assignment, choose Google Reading. And we're going to uncheck All because we want this just for our first period class, and click Save. Now we can see we have a Google Reading Assignment uploaded from Google Classroom. In the Google Reading Assignment box, if we click the small Google Classroom button, we'll get a direct link to the assignment where we can now grade the assignment.